Welcome back everyone, Booster Busters here, bringing you another exciting opening, Zendikar Rising Set Boosters. Uh, super, super excited for this one. First off, let me just, before we crack it open, I love the box design and the box art for this. It is just so much more cooler looking than a standard Tom Cruise Jace box. I mean, I love this, you know, green up here. It just looks... It looks like it contains treasures inside, which which it does, my friends, which it does. We get a foil in every pack. Uh, we get an art card, can be autographed. We've got, um, of course, we've got cards from the list. Guaranteed foil. We can get up to four rares in a pack. That's, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, very, very excited about this one. A new kind of booster. Oh, that's, that looks epic. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty. Thirty packs. Yep, that's, I wasn't sure for a moment if it was twenty-four, but it's thirty twelve-card packs. That's still pretty cool. Um, so the question is, is it better than a standard booster box? Uh, well, we will find out once <clears throat> we get cracking. You've got, you know, 36 chances for, well, 36 guaranteed rares in a normal box. Uh, we've got 30 here with a possibility of multiple rares in a box. So well, we will see. All right, let's slow roll one pack and then we'll do things a little bit quicker. We start off with the art card. That is very cool. Then the land, some commons. Okay, and you know, they're all, I mean, we could go super slow and study the theme, but uh, you know, they're all, there's an idea behind how they're put together. Um, they follow a theme. Very cool. All right, another common. Common. Who are right? A mythic right out of the bat. This guy's doing pretty good. Borag, Fury of Akum, Mythic Minotaur. Very nice. A mythic number one and a foil number one and boom! Right out of the bat. We get a card from the list, Blightsicle. Wow, John Avon, all right. Very nice. Uh, we'll put, put the list cards here. Maybe the signed, the signed art cards there. That's what we'll do. All right. I think that's how we'll do our piles for this one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Loving it. Um, my impression is, ooh, Moss Pit Skeleton, very nice. Sky Cat. Oh, wow, nice. That's a that's some goodies. Branch, a loft pathway, flipping into a boulder loft pathway. We'll put you there. Boom, and a confounding conundrum. No, you know what, we're just gonna... Well, I'm curious to see how many commons we get. So maybe we'll just move all this stuff to the side. Move this here, sorry, uncommons. Move that there, there we go. So we can, we can keep track of everything nicely. And a token. Uh, yeah, some very interesting cards in the list. Uh, my personal, I want, ooh, beautiful artwork. Move you there. Alrighty. Um, I'm personally hoping for a scroll rack in one of these. Would love to get one. Um, what else? <laughs> I love that they reprinted the, um, the, what's its face? The uh, un, unglued land. All right, bears all. 
And another foil. Wow, look at this. That's some crazy, super shiny foiling. And a token. All right, pack number four. Speed things up a little. Beautiful art. Ooh, okay. Ah, yes, because that's right. The foilies can come in different spots of the pack now. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, kind of makes it more exciting to go through the cards. All right, and a Tajuru Paragon. Oh, yeah. Very cool. It's two foils in that pack. All right. All right, these are definitely, you know, definitely exciting. No pack is alike. Well, I mean, it's going to be hard to get a similar pack. There you go. Let me just fix those piles off to the side there. Links. All right, Relic Golem. Uh, definitely feels, yeah, definitely feels like you can get a whole lot of uncommons here. Oh, yes. All right, if doing... Phenomenal on the Mythics, Forsaken Monument. I wish we could get an engine and a kitty cat. Hopefully. Hopefully. These mini games are really cool, by the way. Um, highly recommend trying them out with friends, or you know, I mean, if you if you can see anyone, or if you open up packs with anyone in your household, or you know, just do the webcam thing. Find Gecko, Cyndaclasm, Ambush. Ooh, okay. We already got you. That's a repeat. But hey, two rares and a Wayward Guide Beast. Oh, whoo. All right. Three rares with a foil Hagra Mauling flipping into a Hagra Brood Pit. All right, yeah. These packs are going to be cool. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Our first signed art card. That's nice. Flippy, flippy. Sure, we got the good focus. Only two uncommons there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ooh, that's a, see that oh, man. The order of these. All right, Nissa of Shadow Bows. Very nice. Mythic number three and a glacial grasp. And hey, all right. Our second uh, card from the list. Wow, it's uh, John Avon again. <laughs> Fell War Stone. Nice. Fell War. Oh. Ready. Let's go. There's our art card. There's our foresty. Very nice. And our commons. No, and that had, had to be an uncommon. There's two ruin crab. Very cool. Love these frames. Molten blast. The ox. Ooh. Mammoth flipping into a valley and a shell shield. Oh, that's some shiny foliage. And these, this foiling looks, um, it doesn't look like the normal pack foiling that you get in normal packs. It looks like the, you know, like the double masters, the VIP boosters foiling where it's just super incredibly shiny. That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. Art token. I don't know. I know they're not going to be worth much, but I just love them. I think they're such a neat addition. I loved them in Modern Horizons, and I'm happy they made their way back here. I don't know. It just makes a fun little collectible. Not anything has to be about money. Ooh, all right. Double rare. 
Shadows Verdict. And a Roiling Regrowth off center. And an Illusion Token. All right, first stack down. Uh, let's see if we can get any more cards from the list. Oh, we got this Minotaur guy. Ooh, foily, foily. Legak, the Hound, uh, the Feldar, the Raptor, and the Lynx, and the Shadow Cat, and the Spitfire Legak, and ooh, Zagreus Thief of Heartbeats, and a Foil Smith Cat. Oh, here we go. Card from the list. Number three, Latchkey Fairy. Very nice. Love this artwork. Ah, uh, it's fun. I cannot wait. I mean, next year, I gotta say, super excited for Kalheim. Time Spiral remastered, giving us old borders without the Planeswalker symbol. Oh my goodness. I am going to have to, I don't know, shut my bank account down or block it or something because I'm just gonna want to open crazy amounts of that. I'm a sucker for the old, old border. All right, no Priest of Oblivion. And a Royal Mage. Wait a minute, I mean, I, I don't know if every box of the set boosters is like this, but the foiling is different than, you know, your standard, um, just move the pile of commons out of the way, than your standard normal pack foiling. It's pretty cool. Beautiful artwork. Wait. Wait. This one was signed. I didn't see it. Very cool. That makes number two. Alright. Charger. Blade Master. Veil. Conundrum. <laughs> nice. Our second foil rare being an alternate art lotus. Cobra in foil. Wow, beautiful. That looks fantastic in foil. Just a fantastic piece of art. Love it. Love it. Two foil rares so far. Very cool. Three mythics. Not bad. Swap. Royal eruption. Into the royal thirst. Hazard. Blight. The mace. What? <laughs> back to back Lotus Cobras. Nice. Pack Beast. And a copy artifact. All right. All right, a copy token. Copy token. Oh, looks like, uh, what was that movie? Deep Blue Sea? Or Event Horizon? One of those. Blood, Gridworm. Ooh, Skyclave Shade. Okay, oh, ho, ho, ho. Mythic. Flipping into a Shadow Skull, Shatter Skull, and a Mind Drain. Very cool. Um, so, what do you guys think? Are these, is this a nail in the coffin for, you know, Draft boosters. Is that signed? No, that's just her. <laughs> or his. Sorry, Mr. Grandpa guy. It's his arm wrappings. Um, I kind of think, you know, obviously, you know, draft, you need, you, you got to have draft boosters to play draft. Um, in these, you know, lockdown times, um, I feel like these are going to, you know, cut. Cut a big piece out of ooh, all the sky claves. Out of uh, the set boosters that would normally sell. Ooh, baby, beautiful, beautiful. That's that's what I want to see. Oh god, if I wish this was what cards looked like nowadays. Fantastic. What is that number four? Four? I thought we got five. Did I put one somewhere else? Oh well. 
Maybe not, but yeah, wow, beautiful, beautiful card. Yeah, I feel like these are gonna eat into the, the you know, st standard booster market now. Um, obviously, after all this lockdown stuff is over and everyone's back to playing Paper Magic everywhere, um, I feel like it would even out a little bit. Um, you know, still gonna get a lot of people wanting to play, that's a lot of uncommons, play, you know, the normal, Standard booster drafts and all that. So, but yeah, for now, I feel like they're going to eat up a big portion of the market. But they're fun. They're fun. I gotta, I gotta tell, I gotta admit it. JC boy, I gotta admit it. Foiled players that it is definitely a f fun experience. Uh, you know, I recommend you pick it up, go slow, you know, look at the Theme. Wow, that's a lot of uncommons. Wow. All right, squad commander. Ooh, and another rare inscription of a ruin and a foil disenchant. We'll count up all the rares after. Let's see if, you know, what's worth it. Uh, but yeah, I feel like if you're, I don't know, like a set collector, I feel I'd probably go with one of these over a standard booster box. Um, you know, less commons definitely. Well, I'm gonna get a big roll of commons. Oh, relic hacks, ah, inscription of ruin, we just got you. Blood price, woohoo, nice. And we've got a rare in uh, the list slot, Song of the Dryad. Very cool. Commander 14. Nice. Let me just make some pile order. We're slowly winding down with the second stack. Two more packs left here. Speed things up a little. That's not where you go. All right. Ooh, pathway and flipping nice. Wow, a third foil rare. Okay, um, you don't see that in a standard box. Two, yeah, but three. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Field research. Move this stack out of the way. All right, a sure footed infiltrator. Archpriest of Aona and spare supplies for our foil. All right, hitting stack number three. Let's go. Seagate Banneret. Cleric. What do you guys think of the party mechanic? I like it. I'm very, you know, um, especially I think they're going to do a lot of cool things with it um, when the D&D &D set comes. Outrider foil. Very cool. And a kitty cat token. Wow. Lots of foils, obviously, with a foil in every pack. Some packs have multiple foils. That's very cool. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Boyland. Alrighty. Allied Assault. Oh, look at this stack of uncommons so far. Definitely... Ton more. Wow. That was just all uncommons. Master of Winds. Scale the Heights. That was just uncommon after uncommon. Card, card, land. Uh oh, we got some goodies. 
Wow, okay. We doubled up on the pathways. Uh, but hey, I love the artwork on this one, so I'm not gonna complain. And into the royal, a little bit off center, but hey, that's a foil. Very cool. Fisher Wizard. Again, yeah, the number of uncons you guys are seeing that. I mean, whew. all right, crack ma and a foil pressure point. And here we go, Stony Brook Banneret Merfolk Wizard. Very nice, very nice. Another card from the list. Wow, very nice token and a foil forest right off the bat. So cool, pulling some spice early on. Tons of uncommons. All right, Aura, Skyclave, and a Vanquish the Week and a Copy Token. Winding down to our last few packs. Uh, definitely been an adventure. We're really, really interested to see if they keep this format. Yeah, that's the question. What are they going to do? Is it going to be the same set of list cards? Are they going to change it with each set? Are we going to see Wizards just kind of make it, I don't know, a one-off, a two-off, and then drop it? You know, that's, that's the question. You never know how long Wizards will... Ooh, Ancient Green Warden. I mean, wow. Uh, Awesome, awesome card. Play lands from a graveyard. That's enough said right there. Adventure awaits. Uh, you're a Drake token, you don't go in the list pile. Last four boosters, fantastic pulls so far. Very happy with what we've been getting. Or and Refuse, aww, and a Jerboa. Little cute guy there. Three last packs, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Cleric. Thirst and a Felder Retreat. And an Ardent Electromancer, okay. Uh, you don't go there. Last two packs. Can uh, we get something spicy? Foil uh, Full Art Island, those are always uh, nice. Glacial Grasp, Gecko. All right, Hagra Mauling. And, ooh, wow, another foil rare, Magmatic Chandler. Last pack, and then we'll do a recap for you all so you can kind of get a number guesstimate of what comes in one of these. Uh, ooh, wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, definitely a f crazy number of uncommons for Booster Box uh, with less packs. All right, Shadow's Verdict. Oh, Skyclave Shade and Skyclave Squid. And wow. All right, here we go. Murderous Cut. Our last card from the list. All right, let's do a slow recap. Re recap for you guys. We got two of the signed ones. It's pretty cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold my horses. We got box topper time. Box topper time. What are we gonna get? Come on, let's not ruin the box topper. Ooh. 
It's not what we wanted. <laughs> All right, Celestial Colonnade. Still cool, nonetheless. All righty, recap. Um, look at this insane stack of uncommons. That's fantastic. Um, the insane stack of foils with, I believe, one... Uh, I don't want to lie to you guys. I think we got four, if I'm remembering. Yep. And there's... Four. Four foil rares. That is... That is awesome. Four foil rares. You're not getting that out of a standard box. Uh, let's just see how many rares total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 30. 30 normal rares, okay. Plus two of the full arts. So that gives us 32 plus five mythics. That's 37 in the rare mythic count. Plus four of those, so 41. And uh, I believe only one rare here. That's correct. One, 42. 42 rares. Wow, and among those five mythics, those are some really, really good numbers. Um, yeah, definitely, if you're a collector, if you're looking to just crack packs to, you know, assemble a collection or get a better chance at rares, definitely, definitely makes sense to go with the set boosters. And I gotta say, it's been a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um... Had a great time, really happy with the pulls. Love, uh, fantastic Forsaken Monument. Nissa, of course, the Green Warden's always nice. Uh, hopefully we can pull an engine as I'm still looking to pull that one. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and catch you next time.